welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about dropping trees. Whether you're using an axe or a chainsaw, it's inherently dangerous. Okay, A few things to take into consideration when you're dropping a tree. Uh, for example, this one. Let's use this one for example. See how it goes up and leans that way? There is no way that I can get it to drop that way without pulling tension on it from the opposite direction. Then what I want to do is I want to make a cut, a V cut, halfway through. Alright, so I'm going to cut a V into the tree. That V is not going to go more than halfway. Alright, then I'll come to the back side with a straight cut. And as soon as it gets close to that V, that tree is going to fall. Now, when you start dropping trees, you can get real messy real quick because you got to drop them, then you got to cut the limbs off, all right? So you'll have a huge mess laying around. If, and if you don't police your area, you might find yourself in trouble. So I always stop after I limb a tree, clean up, drag them off the, out of the way. Then I'll come back and do, do more cutting. So a lot more to follow on that. Next time I make a mess, I'll get you all out here. Probably going to have to take a break for a little while. Uh, going to go out of town. My editor is going out of town, and uh, you know I'm just... Too busy to do it myself, but maybe I'll get a, a couple videos up while he's gone. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so. All right, now, chainsaw. Chainsaw 101, okay? That blade's a little too loose, so we'll tighten that up. And then before I like to refill and get started, I like to clean everything. I already cleaned the oil filter or the, the air filter and sharpen the chain. I do that after each use. So low pressure air works great for this too. If you've got a handy dandy gas powered compressor, which I don't. Now, this is a still, obviously. It has a 25 inch bar. As you can see, this is my bar, it holds the chain. It's the chain bar, all right? Some people just call it a blade. Same difference, all right? Now, what I want is you don't want it too tight, okay? The way I like to run them is if I can lift up and see almost to the bottom of three teeth. I don't want it any tighter than that. I don't want it any looser than that. Okay, that's just about right. All right, nice and snug. You don't need to gorilla grip it. You got two bolts here. You don't want to strip those out. Still stuff gets expensive real quick when you break it. Now, if you'll take another close look here, let's talk about blades. Stills in particular, you can get green blades, yellow blades. Yellow blades are more aggressive. The reason why is because of this little guy in front of the teeth right here. This is like a tooth guide. This prevents too much of a bite into the wood, which can cause kickback. That's why chainsaws are so dangerous. Um, mostly for kids that don't have enough muscle to handle them. So parents, you know, be advised. Um, so what I did was I took that little guy and I filed it down. So this tooth or this, this blade on the chain is going to take a bigger bite. And it, it works great. It works great. But you got to be careful. Safety's paramount, right? So we got eyes. We got ears. Ear protection. Two-stroke gas, mixed. Be careful when you're opening that. There's always pressure buildup. It'll piss gas into your eyes, into your mouth. Same thing with these stupid new, see that? See, this is what happens when government gets involved. 
They take a perfectly good idea and ruin it. <laughs> it's a terrible design. All right, so the way these are designed is so about the time you run out of gas is about the time you'll run out of bar oil. So I like to fill them both at the same time because I'm probably going to run this thing out of gas today. Voila! Look at that, I only spilled a little. Still makes a great product. They've got another one that's even bigger than this. It's a, <laughs> it's 124 cc's. <laughs> I think you can get like a 50 inch bar for it. Pretty sweet. They're proud of it. You can pay a little extra for that. I think it's a thousand five hundred bucks. All right, so the reason that I said you need at least a 25 inch bar for this is because your first cut is critical to the rest of your cuts. You can't do your first cut straight without a rail system, okay? And then unless you want to custom fabricate your own, or you can just do what I do, put a ladder. So that's only for the first cut. After you make the first cut, you don't need that. Alright, so when you're putting those shims in, you don't want to bang them in too hard, you don't want to put them in too soft, you just want to barely tap them in. All they're doing is supporting the weight of the wood so it doesn't pinch the bar. Okay, so when you get a knot in the wood, that's where the bit, the blade can bite and kick back. That's why they put those um, chainsaw brakes on the front and top end. So another thing when we're talking about do's and don'ts is never cut with your saw above your head. It's bad practice.
you'll notice, well, you saw experts might have noticed. So I'm gonna teach you now. You put these in because the weight of the wood wants to pinch your blade. So every time you feel it starting to bind, it's because the weight of the wood is crushing your blade. Another thing that you may have noticed is the price of wood. <laughs> well, gas is still cheaper. Another thing you might have noticed is after every two or three uses, I'll flip my bar. I'll save the life of it. It'll last two or three times as long. You see that, how it's starting to burn? I just need to flip it again. All right, so recap. Take care of those blades. And I'll show you that in another video. I've got a real fast, easy way to do it. Only tool you need is a file. Super easy. Now, notice the difference between the yellow and the green blade. See how this tooth guide is thick? It's a little more difficult to file those down. <laughs> but we did it anyway. These are both new saws, they run great. Still's the way to go. All right, and look. With that little amount of effort, we've got lumber. Guess what we're gonna build? All sorts of neat stuff. Stay tuned, stay salty. <laughs>